Welcome back, my friends. You got it. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you're not Ustream members. Shame upon you. Anyway, let's get a few plugs in. Sunday, the 25th, is the launch of the great Roy Chubby Brown's new concert only on uh, Ustream. You can uh, have a little look at that. Join up for a couple of months. Join up forever. And you can see uh, uh, Chubby Brown's new DVD. This is what it's called. Was it called Hilarious, Harmless Vulgarity and Friendly Smut? I think that's a dig at all the people that have banned him from everywhere. You know, the cancel culture that's saying, we don't want Chubby Brown here, even though they've never, ever seen him. So he's saying it's Harmless Vulgarity and Friendly Smut. And uh, if he can't get on the television, well, he's now on Ustream. Chubby has signed for us. And right chuffed we are about that to be able to show... Uh, all of his stuff. This is one of these stations where we don't just cancel things and we don't just pull programs off of our platform uh, because of various things. But anyway, let me just get to the chat. Oh, while we're at the plugs, 1st of October is my next gig, right? I'm in Eastbourne. There's a little theatre in Eastbourne that's fantastic. It really is a good variety theatre. Uh, the address is on the little crawler here. So the 1st of October, Eastbourne. The 4th, my favourite theatre to perform in, the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne. And then there is the epic. This is the comedy equivalent of Woodstock, uh, with just me in it, of course. <laughs> OBE. Uh, the 6th, 7th and 8th of the Towngate Theatre in Basildon. And I've got some message now for Mr. Putin. Now, Mr. Putin, you were on the other day leaning an awful lot of it and sideways and doing a threatening most with the nuclear and all fiery with the fucking Armageddon and for a lot of it. Listen, you don't need to frighten us here in the UK. You don't need to threaten us with destroying our country because, quite frankly, we're making a good job of that ourselves. 30,000 immigrants landed on the south coast this week, uh, uh, this year so far. 600 in a day are turning up, being brought in by the lifeboats and whoever can pick them up from their perilous journey across 22 miles. Where did, what, what, I don't get it. How did they get into France? This is the thing. Come in, don't worry, England's that way. Bonjour, au revoir. But uh, it's ridiculous. And now look what is happening to our country in Leicester, uh, which people say is a multicultural society. What's that mean? It means there's thousands of Indians, Bangladeshis and Pakistanis living there. Probably outnumbering the, uh, the, the gammons as we're racist, distic, 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 well, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, the Pakistanis and the Indians are now giving each other the good news uh, because it's supposedly a cricket match. And that is spread now to Smethwick. There's another place where uh, it gets dark at half past four in the afternoon, um, where the Pakistanis are now shipping themselves in. They've surrounded a, a Hindu temple and they're all battering each other as they do. It's reminiscent of that film Gandhi, if you saw that, with the, the separation, the independence of India and the separating of the Muslims and the Hindus to form Pakistan, and then East Pakistan, of course. Bangladesh, where most of our, uh, most of the people that serve our Indian food come from, God bless them. But look, the Pakistanis and Indians are now battering each other. Why? Because they hate one another. Basically, they say it's a, a cricket match. It's not a cricket match. It's they hate each other. It's a different religion, a different way of looking at things. Now, let's compare this. If people say, oh, it's from cricket. And I was in my Indian restaurant last night and the Bangladeshi mate of mine said, these are not uh, fanatics. They're just uh, criminals. They're just yobs, thugs. That, that's what it is. And, and they're, they're ashamed to each nation. These are young men bashing each other up. Now, let's look at another example. Millwall. Uh, against Charlton, right? We're all frightened to death of them, or most of us are, uh, and they call us train spotters, me being a Charlton Athletic. And yes, we will fight on the terraces, and yes, we'll do this and that and hate one another, but it stops there. It stops at the football ground. A little bit of station and underground stuff on match day, but when you come to it, we're all the same. Basically, we all have our differences, and that is purely football. I mean, Charlton and Millwall are only a, a 10 bob bus ride apart. And we're all the same people. We all eat our pies the same way up in a pie and mash shop. Um, up north, they turn them over. Millwall and Charlton, right? Enemies, but the same people. 
Pakistanis and Indians, enemies, but the same people. Forget, forget colour. Forget religion. All the same people have all got to get by. All you Pakistanis and Indians have had to integrate into Britain, and you've integrated well into certain places, certainly Leicester and Smethwick. But uh, if you want to bash each other up and let uh, give us some entertainment, you know, but don't do it. Don't do it. You're just falling into the hands of people like me that can come on and give you a bad time. Talking of giving people a bad time, tune in to Ustream now and I will tell you what I think about uh, Holly Willoughby and the other geezer. What's his name? Oh, well, that's show business. Come and sign up to Ustream. See the comedy legend who refuses to be cancelled, Roy Chubby Brown, harmless vulgarity and friendly smut. I thought we'd sit right at the front in case one of the swans has left the knickers off. <laughs> we'll stream exclusively on Ustream.com from 9pm on Sunday, September the 25th. Just read that in the paper, you seen Bolt as COVID. Who the fuck got near him? And remember, if you're easily offended, don't effing watch it. I can remember when white people made adverts on the TV. 